Hello everyone, this is Ricardo Review. Hello folks, today I'm testing in the water the Mavlos Ultima. Pretty cool rod, I already had some, made a few casts with it yesterday. When I, so I'm on this beautiful location, casting the Mavlos Ultima on the pure wool silver feather, having a blast, trying to catch something on the white water, but I think there is no fish activity nearby. I am not seeing anything following my lure, so I think I'll move. A bit downstream. Let's move to another location. I have in there the Shimano jointed crankbait, the smaller one. And I'm trying to catch something to validate the rod, but I can tell you, and I will put some clips, it actually casts pretty good. There are some fish on the creek. Let's try to entice some of them to bite. <sighs> Already enticed some of them to bite, so... Actually... But this lure only has a single hook on the back. So let's give it a couple more casts. Ooh, they are actually pretty hungry. I hope it got the recorder, the, the guy attacking the lure still floating. So this lure the, from Shimano, it catches a lot of attention of the fish. The problem is working it on the stream because it has a little bit of current and it will just go from side to side is very annoying first one actually pretty nice and by pretty nice i mean with this rod and the drag adjustment that i had on the reel i could control the fish very very well I pin it even with a barbless trout hook. I had no problems reeling the fish in. It's a decent size chub. It's actually the size that I prefer because they are the ones that give the best fights. Um, I will just skip the next part of the video because there's someone right beside me and I was planning how do I catch fish and giving a bit of education on catch and release at least from the knowledge that I have. So now that I thought about it, it's the first fish that this lure catches and the rod. So double christening. I think they moved a bit down the creek. Let's try the bridge. I cannot sit down because I'm not on my fishing outfit. I'm with some weird shorts. And if I sit, everything comes out of my pockets. This lure is working very, very badly on this still fast water conditions. I will have to change it. I will see you guys on a bit. If I seem quiet in here, it's because I'm about to get very very quiet because I was with a bit of hunger and that gives me a 100% boost on my angling skills. Don't flip! I told you, hunger is the angler's best friend. And as usual, these little fellas try to go on the bank to unhook themselves and usually they will snag themselves, but with the Ultima I had no problem pinning it. You see me here wrestle, but it's not with a fish, it's with a line. The line was getting caught on some branches, I just kept the line off the branches and managed to pull the head of the fish out of the water. After that is easy work. Netting. 
when the creek is so low it's a bit difficult what is also difficult it's taking the net out of my backpack but i manage it and now i don't know if i told you now i have a silicon net which is easier on them and easier on trebles i will just speed up this part because it's just me netting the fish very very decent size so the biggest that you can get that it will give a nice fight but either way i'm very satisfied with the net quick picture i'm even humming a song so i'm happy as it can be and this fish is so big that i need to give it a bit of a lift so i'll just put it on the net and send the net back on the creek and let him go i eventually moved further and further down the creek until i make a last stop oh. Ah. Oh, it's still on! Very, very small guy. Big, big appetite. The good things about these trebles is that uh, the barbell is very very small. It's, they are easy to take out of them. So they are so hungry that even the smaller ones are going after bi the bigger lures. So this rod is very very fun i could feel the bite but this was the last one that i could feel we reached the end of the session on this beautiful spot and today i was testing the mavlos ultima which is a very very competent rod it's fast it has a taper guide. it has a cast weight of one to six grams it's five six so 1.68 meters you can get a, a little bit bigger one I think 511 or 1.8 meters and I had a blast. I paired it with a pure lure silver feather which is actually one of two casting reels that I own now uh, and it was very very fun. I had a fish come out of the water, I had some blow ups with the lure still floating, I had like two or three bites. I know now that I can have confidence on even barbless hooks and I will be swapping these bad boys for barbless because I want to make an effort to have better quality and make uh, do a little bit less harm to the fish that I'm catching but very very fun day I was not supposed to come fishing I just went deliver some packing on the mail to ship it to some guys that bought me fishing gear and I decided, damn it, I already have the glass on the, uh, the rod on the car and I will try it for a couple of minutes. So in less than an hour, three fish in the bag, two or three more bites, very, very cool attack and overall a pleasant experience. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.